Wait, so explain to me this gothic architecture, Ben. Yeah, so it's basically got like four main elements. We got the pointed up, give it extra structure. Yeah, yeah, I say them. I say them. I'm coming back, I'm coming back. Man, I didn't know Winston was a part of gothic so, architecture, but... The fuck? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing? Um, an enjoyable activity. I need you to pick Lucio. And, um, and have you got the golden gun? And you know where to meet me. I don't. Oh, that's McCree. What? What's up? There you are. There you are. Sorry. Hello. I know you've been waiting for this. Oh, no. So I put us into this. Uh, no, this no, 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 no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Unlike Deathmatch, we can actually go inside the building now! Why'd I do that? It's gonna take me like 10 years to get back here. <laughs> alright, alright. Okay. So, I really wanted to come in here, because there's a really important feature of Gothic architecture, which is yeah. all about light. Fuck you! <laughs> Yeah, so basically, imagine you're a medieval peasant. Yeah, yeah. Which, which shouldn't be too hard for you to do. You've entered oh, this, this gothic rude. church, and, yep. and it's just filled with lights, and it's a really tall space. Yes, right. yes. That's going to make you want to be a Christian. I, I should explain why I'm, I've changed to Winston. So first of all... Uh, I thought so I can't get boobs. You can't boot me off. But secondly, it's also because I'm a gargoyle. So gargoyles are pretty significant. So... Basically, what they do. Did you say boop? Is that a voice line? Maybe. <laughs> so basically, got so basically, gargoyles are positioned on the outside of the gothic churches. Yeah. They act as defenders. In terms ah. Of actually, but they also spout water off the edge. So if water's running down the building, they travel through the gargoyle's mouth and get sprayed away from the building. Ah, so it protects them from like getting water damage. I really appreciate how you're trying to sound interested, even though you're fucking not. I'm very interested. <laughs> so what you're Can't you hear it in my tone of voice? <laughs> and my uh, doing Lucio parkour while you're doing it? Yeah, I can. So, I just want to talk about how this gothic church is, is doing some things right, but a lot of things wrong. So yeah, yeah, okay. So what's elements. doing wrong? There are four main elements of gothic church. We have the pointed arch, we have stained glass yep. windows, and we have the ribbed vault, which is not visible. Is that the hole in the ceiling? The ribbed vault? No. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely part of the architecture. Um, I mean, why else would it be there? So there Wait, what's no this? What's this, Ben? What's this, Ben? What's this called? That's called a spider web. And the fourth element are these, these flying buttresses. And so, the problem with this, although it's, it's, it's a fantasized version of Gothic architecture, but they've kind of missed the point a little. Gothic architecture is all about volume and light. So this pointed arch, this allows the buildings to be a lot taller than previous arches. So this, this rounded arch in Roman architecture of previous churches, like Carolingian or Romanesque, this couldn't support loads as much as this pointed arch can, right? Ah. Oh. And that's, yeah. what, that's what allowed these tall heights. Okay, okay, I, I've been ranting way too much. To recap, to recap, the four yeah, main yeah. elements of gothic architecture are the pointed arch, stained glass windows, ribbed vault, and, and boobs. And the flying buttresses, which are oh, the- Wait, what's this window called then? That's, that's just a stained glass window. But, the but problem what's it is, called though? The problem Not a stained glass window, all but like- this structure, all these, these, these structural elements, and these light elements, these windows, it's all about letting light in. But because they've tried to make it fantasy and make gothic like dark and evil, which is kind of how it's characterized yeah, yeah. in media, they don't have any clearer story windows up, up here. Is that right? This, those yeah, up, yeah. It's beyond the wall. And that means you can have taller walls with more windows, but yet they don't have They don't windows. have the windows. And they That's don't have stupid. any clearer stories. Like the closest thing they have to a fucking clearer story is this hole. Oh, so it is part of the architecture. <laughs> how about. Reaper the uh, plague doctor skin, or does that not really fit in? Black plague would have occurred while Gothic architecture was around. So that oh, would have there you go. Around. Okay. You know the really great thing about playing Reaper Whoa. is that he counters oh, monkey. No, no. <laughs> you know what I'm really angry about? 
Hans no. are getting recoil. Hold shit, hold on, I'm not angry anymore. I'm not angry anymore because this 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 church on King's Row is actually gothic. It's actually gothic. It's got it's got pointed arches, it's got stained glass windows. Does it have flying buttresses? I can't see. I can't see the flying buttresses because it's it's around the side, but I'm sure it has them. But what it does it has ribbed vaults. Wait, Ben, 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 Ben. Vaults. Ben, can you put can you put yourself in Ilios well? No, oh, fuck you. Uh, pointed arch barrel vaults intersecting. Fuck. Oh yes. Let's go. <laughs> well, if Ben ever invites you to a custom game, don't accept the invite. We know where we're going. <laughs> That's literally what he did this morning. <laughs> this morning. This afternoon. Uh